Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to evening prayer, a very late evening prayer. Um, been struggling a little bit today, but uh, your prayers are very much appreciated. Um, I think it's a really intense flare-up of this connective tissue disease that I have. Uh, it gives me a lot of grief. Uh, some weeks it's okay, a couple weeks it'll be okay, and then I'll have one or two really, really bad weeks. Uh, evidently, this is one of those really bad weeks. Um, so I'm doing what I can with what I have. But uh, evening prayer is a little late, but we're going to get some evening prayer in. Again, thank you guys for your prayers. Uh, your prayers mean a lot to me. And your encouragement means a lot to me. Uh, that's why I'm doing this now. Because um, the physical limitations are really holding me back. <laughs> But we do what we can do with what we have, and the Lord takes care of the rest. Am I right? So we're going to talk about worrying, because a lot of people are worried about what's going on. But I've been reading your comments, and you guys are on, you're right on point. You guys aren't worrying about anything. You're putting your faith in Him. I mean, it's human to be scared. It's human to worry about things. But even though we, we may have some worry, we put it all in His hands, because we, we know He's got it under control. And we trust in Him for all this stuff. Pretty soon, all this is going to be behind us, and we won't have to worry anymore. No more pain, no more health issues. No more problems, no more nothing. <clears throat> and we'll do what we do um, as we can do it. Uh, I especially love that I, as, when I had a chance to go through comments... I didn't get a chance to go through emails. I've been laying flat out here most of the day. Um, or, sorry, emails. Um, I saw people praying for each other. Guys, that's so awesome to see you guys praying for each other. To see you guys stepping up with the encouragement and with the prayer. That's exactly what we should be doing for each other. So tonight we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to pray about worrying. And I have um, a few scriptures. What do I have here? 18 Bible verses about worrying. That... Even though it's normal to do that, this should not be the deciding factor in how we walk. Because even though we do worry, we cast our cares at His feet. The Lord Jesus Christ will take care of us. He will watch over us. If we believe that He walked this earth as a man and died for us and paid for our sins, then we should absolutely believe that He is coming and He will deliver us from these current troubles. Just like He said He would. That's what the Bible says. I mean, unless we missed a major point somewhere, it's, it's about to happen very, very quickly. And none too soon. I'm ready because this body isn't giving me any, any help at all. This body's giving up on me fast. So let's get into some prayer. I want you guys to know I love you all very much. Thank you so much for your encouragement and your prayers. Let's get into some prayer. Lord Jesus, we come before you this beautiful, quiet evening. We give thanks for the time we've got, get, we get to have with our families. I've gotten to spend some nice, quiet, quality time just sitting on the couch holding my wife's hand. We're usually so busy we don't have time for those intimate moments, and tonight we got to, and that was awesome. And she she acknowledged that we haven't had to got, get gotten to do that very often. We just sit still and enjoy each other's company. <sighs> Lord, thank you for the peace that you're pouring out on us. Thank you for my brothers and sisters praying for each other in the comments, even when I couldn't do evening prayer yesterday evening. Standing up and taking the reins and, and delivering that intercessory prayer exactly like we do in this. Lord, thank you for bringing us all together to pray this way. I'm, I'm just a guy with a YouTube channel. It's the brothers and sisters coming together in this prayer that have the power, that are delivering the power into these prayers. Lord, I, I don't know if anybody offered or asked for prayer. Lord, I lift up everybody who has an unmentioned prayer or a, a request I didn't see. Lord, take care of their, position, or their petitions. Um, deliver them from their issues. Um, bring, that, bring everybody together to pray for each other, to love each other, to stand for each other. You know, come hell or high water, one way or another, you're, you're still going to come for us. You're still here with us during these times. We know this. We trust in this. We trust in you. 
And we trust in the promises that were made to us. We know you're loyal and you're faithful and you will come and stand. And we will end up standing before you. And we look forward to that day, Lord. We look forward to getting out of these flesh bodies that hold no reward for us, hold no profit for us, hold nothing for us, and to be standing in your presence where we belong, where we long to be. Lord, in Philippians 4, 6-7, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, I could stop right there. That's the perfect scripture to share. I could stop right there, and that would be enough. But we're going to keep going. Sorry, I just took my meds. It's messing my stomach. Isaiah 41.10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And we know that he's there for us. We know that you're there for us, Lord. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life. What you will eat or drink or about your body. What you will wear is is not life more than food and the body more than clothes. It's in Matthew 6.25. 1 Peter 5.7 Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Matthew 6.34 Therefore do not worry about tomorrow. Listen, guys. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. If we could stop focusing on tomorrow and just deal with the day in front of us, our lives become so much less stressful. And what goes along with Matthew 6.34 is sometimes you got to know when to say no. And that's something that's hard for me. And it's taken me a lo all my life to learn how to do it. And even now I still fail at it. But learn how to say no. Learn how to tell people I can't. I'm sorry I can't help you. Psalm 94, 19, when anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought me joy. What's the consolation of the Lord? My grace is sufficient for you. You don't have to worry. Whatever's going on, my grace is sufficient to deal with your troubles. My promises stand, and I will fulfill them just like I always have. The grace, or the consolation of the blessed hope which is the rescuing of the church, the bride, from this earth to be in heaven with him. John 14, 1, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. What an amazing Lord we have. We know God is true and God is real. We know Jesus is true and Jesus is real. John 14, 27, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I did not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Proverbs 12.25 says, Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. Lord, I pray that this kind word reaches the hearts of my brothers and sisters because I care for them. And I don't want them to be stressed out and I don't want them to be weighed down. Psalm 38.9, All my longings lie open before you. Lord, my sighing is not hidden from you. Ecclesiastes 1.18, for with much wisdom cuts much, comes much sorrow. The more knowledge, the more grief. And actually that is true. Keep it simple is what he's saying. Keep it simple. I only know Christ crucified. I don't know anything else. Everything else I share with you guys in the videos is all what's being given to me. And I'm glad I don't know these things. Just sharing what's passing through. Pardon me. My meds really mess with me. <clears throat> Second Corinthians 9 8. And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Amen, Lord. Luke 12, 22 and 23. Do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body is more than clothes. Mark 13, 11, Whenever you are arrested and brought to trial, do not worry about beforehand. Do not worry beforehand about what you 
about what to say. Just say whatever is given to you at that time, for it is not you speaking, but the Holy Spirit. Lord, many of these prayers that I've done morning and evening have been completely Holy Spirit led. And is the Holy Spirit now keeping me going forward? Ecclesiastes 11.10 So then banish anxiety from your heart and cast off the troubles of your body, for youth and vigor are meaningless. And that's the truth. In my weakness, he, his strength is made evident. Revelation 21, 3, 4, And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Matthew 13, 22, the seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of wealth choke the word, making it unfruitful. And finally, Job 1, 20 through 21, at this, Job got up and tore his robe and shaved his head. Then he fell to the ground and worshiped and said, Naked I came from my mother's womb and naked I will depart. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. Lord Jesus, even Job realized, this isn't about us. This is about you. This is all about you. And no matter what happens in this life, you've got it under control. Job went through a lot, but in the end, he stood and he worshipped. He never laid blame to God for the things that went on. He understood what was going on, even as weak as he got. And Lord, in our weakness... Help us to realize that you are God and you have it under control and you will prevail. You already have prevailed. That nothing that we're doing is going to be for, for naught. This is all going to mean something at the end. Lord, I pray that you strengthen everyone, strengthen all our brothers and sisters. I make intercessory prayer and give thanks for all those who forget to give thanks or don't don't think about giving thanks. I. I pray for strength and for the peace that defies all understanding upon all the brethren. Lord, we bless you and we praise you and we love you. And we lift you up and lift up your name on high. And pray for your kingdom to come. And pray for you to come. And to save your church. We pray that we are worthy to be taken. And we're ready. And that we're found watching and doing what you've called us to do. It is in your name, Lord Jesus, that we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining me for evening prayer. Please excuse my condition. This happens sometimes. It is what it is. Bless the brothers and sisters. Reach out. Make intercession. Make intercessory prayer. Be there for each other. Love each other. Those things that happen, that people... Do the things that they do. Let it slide off your back. Don't take it to heart. Don't take it personally. Just let it go. Know that no matter what, Jesus is Lord. No matter who says what, no matter what happens, no matter anything, Jesus is Lord. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything get in your way. And Lord willing, I'll see you guys in the next video.